<laughs> yeah, well, right now I'd pay you to stop. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Rob just got a better sense of humor than you. Damn, there goes the bell. Sure. Sounds good. Later. Yo, dude. Yo, cuz part of the stones. You gonna diss the man or else? You better watch yourself. Class is starting now. Please sit. Forget the last chapter of homework is due tomorrow. Yeah, I got Miss Walker. I am glad it's finally over. Yeah, she's a ruthless grader. I just don't have time, you know, with looking after my mom. We've been working a lot of shifts lately, man. I feel like I see you more than my mom. Yeah, I guess I'll have to. Just need to find a shift I'm not already working with you. Oh yeah, Taylor's your sister that you talk about at work. Did something happen at the park? That's rough, man. Strength only goes so far by itself. What do you want for your sister? I hear you. I guess now is the best time. Sure, sounds cool. You and Crystal going to the party this Friday? I don't know, Troy. My girl told me them gangsters might show up there. How she know they coming? Her boyfriend is one of them. Hey, Aaron.
Yo. School's over. Get out of here. Ready to go? Let's head outside. Well, think about it like this. You're way more likely to introduce yourself to a female than a dude. My mom's is always saying, everything happens for a reason. The only guys I know at school besides you are the ones I played on the baseball team with. We should cross so we don't run into any trouble, man. Man. Was on the baseball team. I played through sophomore year, then I had to start helping with the Bills. Hey, that's cool. How'd y'all first meet? Hey, those are good friends. I've moved a bunch, so it got hard to keep in touch. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'd like to, but the disciples got the whole hood closed off. And they at war with the dudes over here. It makes me worry for my friends there. Right now, I'm hearing that the Disciples and the Stones are recruiting and shooting. How about you? You ain't gonna have no trouble graduating, are you? It's a good thing to be humble, but you can't judge smarts by grades. You really do want to go to college, huh? So how old is this little genius you've been bragging on? you helped me with last night. Who's this? Hello, Taylor. It's nice to finally meet you. Your brother talks about you all the time. Hi. <laughs> we should walk to the to the other side of the street. to the other side. We are still going to the park, aren't we, Aaron? Yay! I should have known you would keep your word. I can't wait to play on the merry-go-round. And to swing! It seems like we haven't been to the park since forever. Isn't the park the most wonderful place in the world? Hey, B. I'm with you, Taylor. The park is a wonderful place. See, Aaron? James agrees with me. I like James. <laughs>
Taylor, Aaron tells me that you're pretty good at science. Yeah, we looked at the epidermis under a microscope. It was weird. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you on that. We had a guest speaker at school. We learned about Hannibal the Great. What did they have to say about him? He said that Hannibal was a great general from Carthage in northern Africa, and he invaded Rome and captured it. Hannibal was smart. He knew the Romans wouldn't be guarding the Alps because they thought that nobody could cross them. They're cool. They must be, if you like them. Hey, fellas, what's up? This is James. What's going on, James? I've seen you at school. Hey, James, my name is Rob. And I'm Justin. Yo, what's up, fellas? Hooray! Yeah, man, you, you got Mr. Scott for math, right? Man, that dude's so ancient. You probably seen me walking my girl to his class. Yeah, I had him last semester. Almost failed. What about English with Mrs. Walker? Yeah, I got her. She ain't all that bad, other than all the homework. It's bullshit. She grades you on the dumbest stuff in her class. <laughs> yeah, right. Periods and other pointless things, right? Shoot, I even joined the military just to get away from all this crap. I hear what you're saying. But I'm taking it one day at a time and doing whatever I have to do. You right about that. Ain't nobody got tomorrow promised. I'm still trying to find a job. Is your place hiring? Sure, if you could. I've heard there are a couple places by Ethan's hiring too. Justin's family has a <laughs> kind of a reputation. Oh, I feel you. I had to deal with that myself trying to get a job. Wait, you're James Williams? That makes sense. Hey, big brother! Look at me! Look! I can swing really high! You go, Taylor. Man, watching your sis really takes me back. It's like your only job was to have fun. So about the job, think you can at least ask? Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna be here. Later. Nice meeting y'all. Likewise. See you around. Yeah. Catch you later. Is James walking with us? That's right. Mom loves to cook for company. Well, I feel guilty if I turn down such a great invitation. That's great. Come on, let's go.
growing girl and I need my nourishment. I let my mom know, so I should be fine to stay over for dinner. You'll like our place. I love it, and I would miss it if we ever left it. Oh, but I would love to have a real bed in my own bedroom, and more than one bathroom. You ain't funny. Me and Mom don't spend half as much time in there as you do. Right, bruh, but I don't know if that will help. Don't listen to him, big brother. Mama always tells you how handsome you are. <laughs> Handsome? Right. At least you got your poetry going for you. When I read what the gangbangers write on the walls, half the time they can't even spell gangsters. And most of them in jail can barely read or write. Seems like without the proper education, people were already half dead. What's that saying? That's what they say on those United Negro College Fund commercials. Don't you see, Aaron? You gotta go to college. Of course I am. Can't stay too long. Gotta get home soon to check on my mom. Mom shouldn't be long. I'm gonna watch the news. Yeah, I know what you mean. I usually end up pissed off or upset for the rest of the day. Sure, I'll take some water. I still can't believe we lived so close to each other this whole time. True that. I hope so. Nah, I think I'll be all right, but I just don't know what's next. I'm hoping to get into college, but who knows if there'll be any jobs when I'm done. It's hard to balance being safe with being brave. Yo, bro, sometimes I don't know how me and my moms do it. Personally, I understand your position because you ain't just got to look out for you. You got to look out for Taylor, too. I've been lucky so far. I haven't run into any of Tim's enemies. It's been a few months since the last time, but luckily they just took my money. 
Sometimes they shoot you just for the hell of it. Man, I've been thinking about getting a gun. Did they take anything from him? Yeah, thanks. Sure. Nice stars. You call this messy? I'd hate for you to see my room. But trust me, yours is a lot cleaner. It's cool, bro. No wonder your mom works so much. Where's your pops now? He was in jail. And now that he's out, he's hardly ever around, and that's fine, because all he does is bring trouble, drug money, and his gang brothers and bullshit. She... She hasn't been the same since... Since my sister got shot, that took a lot out of her. When, when I look at you and Taylor, damn, wh why would God let shit like that happen, huh? My sister didn't deserve that. Man, I know you must lose a lot of sleep trying to take care of your sister. I try to be there for my moms, too, as much as possible. Yeah, I hope so. It's hard to always know what's right. Yeah, you right. I'm just trying to get through school. Yeah, sure. Face you calling funny. I'm just watching the news. Nah, James is over. It's okay. So I can know things. My teacher says 
it's important for a person to be well informed. And besides, what if someone I know is on? You should just be praying that that don't happen, because it's never good. Anyway, I like the news, and I'm going to keep on watching it. It was great. We're subtracting decimals. I did okay. I missed a few questions, but I got a 94. You know, I rarely get 90s anymore. Taylor, you should be happy. I know, I know. That's what he says. But I just want to do my best. How was your day? Hello, Taylor. Hello, Aaron. Who's this young man? Oh, yes, you did. Nice to finally meet you, James. Aaron has told me good things about you. Nice to meet you, Miss Davis. I've heard good things about you, too. Well, consider yourself at home. I didn't bring home anything too fancy, but we should have dinner ready soon. Head to the left sink when you're ready to make some pasta. Yeah, I'm starving. Let's go. All right, everyone, dinner is almost ready. As soon as I finish slicing this onion for the salad, we can get started. Mama, I don't know how you cut those onions without crying. Don't you remember what I told you? The secret is running cold water while you're cutting them. My mother taught me the same thing, Miss Davis. Mama is the best cook in the whole world. Taylor, I'm sure that James's mother is an excellent cook, too. I know that's right, Mama, because James don't look like he's missed any meals. Girls got jokes. Let's just say my mom knows her way around the kitchen. Can you get the plates out first? Then we'll start serving. No, Aaron. We can just put the salad on the side next to the pasta. I'm gonna need a bowl, Mama. You know I can't stand for my foods to be touching. Maybe so, but not on my plate. Who wants their salad all soggy with spaghetti sauce? Would you two just quit it? You keep on like that and James will get the idea that you two don't like one another. Of course you can use a bowl and sauce or Taylor. Don't worry, Miss Davis. They're making me feel right at home. They remind me of me and my sister. Do you need any help? Y'all wash your hands. We'll eat any minute now. My hands are already clean. Girl, you better wash your hands. Mama, tell this boy he better stop calling me a witch. I'm sure your brother didn't mean it that way, Taylor.
no, you're not getting me into that, Taylor. You are just the right height. Dinner's ready. Come sit down and let's bless the food. Bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for the meal we are about to receive, and we thank you for life, family, and friends. Amen. Was that a gunshot? Everyone stay seated and don't go near the windows. I'm so tired of all these shootings. It's like we're prisoners in our own houses. Do you think anyone got shot? I hope to God that nobody got shot. We hear shots all the time, but we don't hear police sirens half as much. I miss your father too, but he'd be very proud of the way you look after me and your sister. Well, you have truly become the man of the house. I thank God for you. Yeah, I just hate it. Everybody else on the block's probably doing the same as us. Let's just see what happens. All right, let's try and finish this up like a normal dinner. It's good. I usually get to work until close. I need the money, so I don't complain. It's cool, it's easy work, and I get paid. I don't know. Probably work for a bit. I need the money. You? He's going to college. I'm sorry, but I am so excited about your being the first in the family to attend college. Pretty much. We usually just turn off the lights and stay away from the windows and try to finish the night. Probably at the end of the street. Thankfully, in the opposite direction of where I need to go. Um, the food is very good, ma'am. Thanks for letting me stay for dinner. Thank you, and you're welcome. Hey, bro. It's about time I headed home. I don't want to be too late or my moms will get worried. No, I'm good. Let me grab my bag. I'm going to go start my homework. Aaron, can I talk to you? I don't think it's such a good idea, you hanging around James outside of work. Ain't he one of the brothers of that poor little girl who was shot a couple years ago? I don't want you caught up in the middle of all that gang shooting. That may be. But like your daddy used to say, bullets ain't got no name on them. What about Taylor? Do you want to put her in harm's way? Promise me at least that you won't hang around with him when Taylor's with you. Well, see James to the door. I love you and I just don't want to see nothing bad happen to you.
Hey, tell your mom thanks again for me. Wake up. Something terrible has happened. Nothing's wrong with Taylor, but... Your cousin Dion is in the hospital. He was shot, but he's okay. I, I don't know where he was at, but he was shot in the leg. I don't have any more details. Jordan said it could have been worse, but that's no consolation. You be extra careful today. I know you will, son. You always do. I don't know what I would do without you. Now I gotta get going or I'll be late for work. I love you, son. Bye-bye. I read the note Mom left. She said I can't leave without you today. Wanna sit? Oh no, is Mama okay? He's okay. Is... Is it bad? I don't know. Maybe. But I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. I would run away. You can't stop a bullet. I'm sorry. I won't.
Uh, morning. Uh, I heard about what happened. Figured you might want some company walking in. Well, my friend, Clyde, he was out with your cousin. He was fine, but he, he was pretty shaken up. He called me to tell me this morning, and he said your cousin got it worse. Let's walk to school with Taylor and talk. All right, let's go. about that when Cousin dion has been shot. Well, I know that if it was you laying in that hospital bed, I'd be worried about you. Aaron is right, Taylor. Just thank God that your cousin is still alive. So, count your blessings. Well, I guess you got a point. I will if you will. Bye-bye, big brother. Bye-bye, James. Bye, Taylor. See you later. Wow. That is one smart kid. Man, I, I just don't know if she should hear. He said they was just walking along when all of a sudden a bullet whizzed right past his head. Let's go over to the other side. Man. He heard your cuz scream. He ended up getting hit. I give him a lot of credit. The average dude would have cut out on you, cuz. You saw two dudes in black hoodies, but couldn't see their faces. Yeah, he is too. I know him through my brother. So you know the name of that song. I seen my father have more than one close call and it never woke him up, but I hope it works for your cuz, man. I really do. Yeah, later, Aaron. Oh yeah, I got it. If you're gonna be working on that, can I borrow your history book? 
Hey, Aaron. Yo. Look, if I don't find what I'm looking for in the book, will you help me? Sure, you've been pulling A's and trick, ain't you? I could use a little help with that. We still going to the show Friday, right? Yeah, as long as you get your daddy's car. I don't know. The bus is still run, though. You kidding? The way these fools shooting, I ain't standing on no bus stop. Somebody else got shot last night. How many is that this month? I ain't sure, but I count 14 since Friday. Well, well, Mr. Davis. Thank you for honoring us with your presence today. Class, we will continue with our workbook. Yo, Sean, you passed the cornerstone your way to school today? Yeah, man, I saw them teddy bears and flowers there. Who got popped? I don't know. I just heard that somebody did a drive-by and killed one dude. They say it was the disciples. They need to tell the cops what they know. Yeah, then who's gonna protect the one who tells? The police? I don't know, Troy, but I know what's gonna happen if nobody tells. Man, if them dudes were stay in their own hood... You make it sound like they was justified. I ain't saying that. But them bangers be dealing in somebody else's hood. They know what's up. Them bangers don't care if they hit innocent men, women, or children. I heard the disciples on a recruiting drive expanded their territory. I wish more of y'all would have the guts to stay away from them gangs. Yeah, well, them bangers ain't recruiting y'all females, but we can't hardly Class get to school or home over. without somebody up in our get face. Going home now. That's right, and they don't be shooting at y'all neither. Oh, and I suppose we women ain't a part of the hood. Not really. Look here. I know those are your homies, but you might want to give your boy some F for a while. That's what's real. If you go looking for trouble, are you in trouble? Look, man, I don't want to get all off into it, into it, into it right now, but just take my word for it. Things could get ugly. Gymnast. Where are Robert and Justin? They sick? Nah, they like my gymnastics. They know I got skills. Oh, we can ask them when they show up. Why? What's wrong? Yeah, don't talk to them and go home or to my teacher. Okay, I guess you don't have to tell me why. Why couldn't James come with us? Yeah, but I like James. What's wrong with him? Oh, then you broke your promise this morning when we walked with James to school? Why would Mama make you promise that? Mama didn't say that. You are so silly. Um, it was okay. 
I got some homework to do. Can I use your computer? Thanks. Also, we have a test Monday. Can you help me study this weekend? James would have let something like that happen. What did Mom say? Oh. Well, Mom doesn't have to know. Okay. Yes, I asked Mama about it. I'm so excited to see you walk. It makes me proud, too. I have a high school graduate for a brother. Well, yeah, after you graduate college and get an awesome job. I heard Mama talking with Auntie Kayla. She thinks she'll get into a good school. You know, thanks for bringing me to the park. Ah, do we have to? Not everyone. There's still you and me. Well, some of these guys never had a sense of belonging. The gang is family to them. Yeah, Clyde's dad ain't never around, but if he was, they'd be worse off. If he did live with them, the government would take away their assistance. They penalize people for trying to keep their family together. So, for a dude who has nothing to go home for, the streets became his home. Oh. She did. Uh, look. I feel like it's my fault, like, I could have done something. But your mom said... And you don't mind? Thanks, bro. I guess we should... 
get to work. so James already asked for it off too Cherise can probably cover it ask me this weekend I'll take a hamburger Thanks. Here's ten dollars. a 10. A gear on prize. Right. Hey, here's ten dollars. Yep. Closing time. Let's get out of here. Hey, Will. We're heading out now. All right. Make sure the door is locked behind you.
All right, man. Good night. Boy, you know I can't go to bed with you still out there in them streets. No reason? Son, I ain't brought you this far to see you harmed. So you expect me to just go to sleep without a care in the world while you're still out there? Well, you'll always be my baby, and I'll always be looking out for you. Yes, son, we did. I'm proud of you, son. And your father will be proud of you to see the man you are becoming. Boy, if you ain't your father's son, I'm gonna stay out here. No use in waking your sister. Before I go to bed, I'm going to pray. Yo, dude, are you going to school today or what? What's going on with Taylor? She ain't in no trouble, is she? Yeah, I can't see Taylor getting into no trouble. Not much, man. But I've been going straight home. I'm trying to get these streets some air. Know what I mean? Anyway, Rob seems like he's avoiding me or something.
still trying to get paid and trying to get my finals together so I can walk across that stage. Not yet. Hey, what happened to you putting in a word for me at your gig? Well, thanks, man. Hey, they still got you on that same crazy schedule? Working on the weekends? Ah. So you working Saturday and Sunday? Oh, that's too bad. You missing a great party. Hey, let's take a shortcut. No, let's go now. That guy is... Hey, where y'all punks think y'all going? Oh, you think you tough, huh? My friend Mr. Beretta thinks you should shut up. Show him how we serve <laughs> the disciples, fellas. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on, Aaron. We'll be seeing y'all again. I gotta go. Get the hell out of here. This isn't about you. into a fight? Ooh, mommy's gonna be mad at you. You better not be fighting at school. I bet you were jumped by some gangbangers. Well, is that what happened? That looks like it hurts. I'll get bandages. Mm -mm. Don't move, mister. I'm not hurting. You always take such good care of me. I'm glad I can help you. Stay still. This might hurt. What you gonna tell Mama? Yeah. Oh, but then she might not let us go to the park. But it still seems wrong. Yeah, okay, but you owe me. That's mommy. Hello, kids, I'm home. What have you got to taste for dinner tonight? What is going on in here? Nothing, mama. Aaron and I were just talking about his graduation. Sorry, hun. We don't have any more tickets. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Taylor, can you go and get the leftovers out of the fridge? 
But mom. No buts. Let's go to the kitchen. Aaron, you okay? Sure, huh? You sure you don't want some dinner? I'll check on you in a couple hours. Aaron, time to get up. Uh-uh, now. I need help before Uncle Jordan gets here. Drawing a picture for Ma. Yes. Can you clean up the living room? Oh, and I want you to clean up that mess you call a bedroom. Just a tiny bit. Gavin will want to go in there, and I don't want him to get lost in that black hole. That's the Bermuda Triangle in there, Mama. Oh, that was a good one. Truth hurts, huh? <laughs> Perfect doesn't mean a path from your bed to the door, you know. Yeah, well, before you leave... <laughs> okay, now, that's enough jokes. Let's get to work. Taylor, don't forget to ask who it is before you open the door. Hello? Who is it? It's the big bad wolf. And if you don't open the door, <laughs> I'll blow your house down. <laughs> it's Uncle Jordan! Hi, Uncle Jordan. Hi, Aunt Kayla. Hi, Gavin. Hey, Taylor! Look at you. You must have grown a foot since the last time I saw you. I wish you'd tell Aaron that. Hello, Aaron. I'm tired of being at the hospital, but it was good to see Dion. I'm going to the kitchen to help Maya. It's so nice to have you all over. We haven't gotten together since the last Look, Taylor. Week. Look, I drew our house. That's a nice Has house. Been that long. You wanna be an artist when you grow up? Go. Nah, I'm, I'm glad that we get to hang out. Yeah. Think you'll be grow and let me see his poems? You got that right, Maya. I bet he will, cuz. He writes the best poems. I've been trying to write, but I, I'd be scared to show them. Stable. I've been trying to write, but I'd be scared to show them. The, the, the bullet went right through the meaty part of his life. We saw him earlier today. Uh, they could have sent him home. Maybe. When they find out you got insurance. I promise. Yeah, the hospital's keeping him as long as they can. And he's been a tower of strength for our We'll go family. get him tomorrow. I know you must miss George so much. 
baby. You don't know the half of it. Dion says he doesn't know, but then he don't tell us everything. He hasn't talked to you about any of this, has he? I ain't got time to look for no boyfriend between work and taking care of my family. What y'all talking about? I got time to look for what y'all talking about? We're talking about how Dion's doing well. I'm never gonna make mom and dad worry over me like Dion does. They worrying already. No, they don't. Settle down, you two. You've been telling your mom about this? Don't know, son. I'll see if I can talk to her. So, how's the job working out? Good. I'm glad to hear that you're helping your mom out. You know, these last few years have been real hard on her. I know your father will be proud of you. No, I really mean it. Your daddy was a good man and you becoming just like him. He loved you all very much. That's what I'm talking about. He believed in family first. You know, back home, your mother was the prettiest girl in the neighborhood. She could have had any guy she wanted. I ran all them boys away, but your dad was different. He and Maya were really happy together. Son, he's always with you. How's the dinner coming? It's about ready, Jordan. You can get the kids washed up. You heard her. Go wash our hands. <laughs> <laughs> You might want to keep an eye on them. Let's say grace. Lord, we thank you for the food we are about to receive. Amen. 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 Well, Maya, I see you haven't lost your touch in the kitchen. Everything is delicious. It sure is, Aunt Maya. You're as good a cook as Mama. You got the two best cooks in Chicago in the kitchen, so what you expect? Guilty as charged, Kayla. I guess you could say it's a family tradition. All I know is that you two are in the wrong line of work. I put your food up against anybody's. Those compliments will not get you bigger slices of steak. George would dream big, but I have to live in the real world. You know, his biggest dreams were for you and Taylor. Boy, you don't know how much I'd love to own a restaurant. A chance to be my own boss and do something I love doing. You know that's right, sis. If you ever do it, I'd be glad to help you. Please, we're just one step ahead of the bill collectors. Didn't I tell you to let me know if you needed some help? And you've been a big help, I'm sure. Your daddy will be proud of you. Jordan, we ain't got to no harder than anyone else. And with the help of my son, who's becoming a fine man, we're doing all right. Well, it's getting so an honest man can't make a living. 
We squeeze between unemployment and inflation. They sending the jobs overseas, so these young men ain't got no futures. To get a good job, these kids need an education. Yeah, but you can't tell them nothing, because they've been taught to disrespect their own. Peddling dope and shooting each other up? That's their path to success? What about the dream of becoming a doctor or lawyer? Can it really be that simple? You mean to tell me these fools running around here shooting up folks, they think they right? No different than soldiers all over the world think they right. That's just crazy. Them soldiers all fighting a war. And these gangsters over here fighting a war, too. Oh, yeah? Who they fighting a war against? Society. Well, sometimes you can teach the right things, and your kids will still do the wrong things. Sounds like you're talking about Dion. No, not necessarily. I know you don't want to get upset, but we need to talk about it. Tell you what, sis. I'll call you tomorrow, and we'll have a long talk. I keep trying to tell Kim. It ain't helping for her to keep beating herself up over this. Hey, I've been wanting to ask Aaron about the poetry slam. Yeah, I started writing after I read a book of poetry by Langston Hughes. Poetry slams are cool, and Aaron's the best. You should really see him. He is good. I bet you win that competition this week. Why don't you perform one of your poems for us? We should go. We'll figure out what's going on Monday and let you know. I'll be there. Mom, do you have to work late Monday? I'm not sure. We'll see. Was good, I nephew. Told Taylor wasn't lying. Excellent. That was really cool, cousin Aaron. I'm not ready now, but maybe I can be ready for the next one. For real? Awesome. You've done a great job with both of these kids, Mike. I'm proud of them. Thanks, Jordan. Now, before I put the food away, did everybody get enough to eat? Hey, Aaron, can I see some more of your stuff?
Oh, real? Awesome. I've been trying to write, but I, I'd be scared to show them. Kevin, time to go. Okay, just a sec, Dad. We got it handled. Well, my, we enjoyed ourselves. Now it's time for us to get in the wind. I'm so glad y'all came. We need to do it again soon. You sure you don't want help cleaning up, Maya? It's a great dinner, Aunt Maya. All right. Thank you again. Have a good night. We should get together after graduation. It'll be like a mini reunion. That'll work. Bye. See y'all soon. Now, Taylor, go get a start on your homework. Mom, I have all tomorrow to do it. The more you get done before bed, the better. Now get started. I'll be in to help you in a bit. You feeling all right? Yesterday, you weren't looking good, son. I can't have you getting sick before finals. Get some sleep and we can clean up tomorrow. Morning, bro. Just about finished with my English homework. I had a dream last night. Well, good, but sad. Aaron? What was Daddy like? I would ask Mom. I love hearing about him. about the funny things he would do. I miss Daddy so much, but I bet he was a lot like you. Thanks for talking with me. Oh, and Mama's out doing the laundry. She said we have to get our homework done before she gets back. I don't know if I'd be any help. Sharice called off, and I need you to cover for her.
Can you make it by four? James is coming in at the same time. Hey, kids, I'm home. Hi, Mama. How's that homework coming, Taylor? I'm almost done. How about you, Aaron? Get all your studying done? Aaron, you know you should be studying for your finals tomorrow. All right, but make sure you're not there too late. You got school tomorrow. She called in sick, but I heard something happen. I heard from my buddy Darius that they was after him. Sharice was there when they came around and they started shooting. Who knows? Uh-huh. He had to learn it the hard way. Give me one second. Yeah, he's supposed to be kicking it this week. Graduating soon. Don't be stuck working here the rest of your life. You hear me? I'll take a hamburger. Yeah, thanks. Hey, here's ten dollars. Thanks. How long? I gotta take this back to my girlfriend.
I have a guy wrong. Right. He is a 10. Yeah. Did you hear about Ian's down the street? They got robbed last week, shot the clerk and everything. Don't know. It's bad happenings. Hey, it's your turn to clean the tables. It's pretty bad. You might want to go grab an extra garbage bag. What you doing here? Dude, I'm sorry. Grab it, don't let him close it. Get your piece out. And just shut up. And don't do nothing stupid. I got this. Joe, lock that front door. Got it. Hurry up. Hey, don't try no stupid shit. Hey man, we cool. Y'all keep calm and do whatever they say. Let's get this moving. Clear out the drawer. You, come with me to get this safe open. Man, why are you here? I even asked you. Just be quiet and don't move, and you won't get hurt. And that's right, just stay cool. Hey, don't be pissed, man. The disciples already had this plan. All I could do was make sure you weren't working. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm sorry, man. I, I tried to keep you out of this. nothing but trouble. What if Will fires us? The last thing we need is the disciples after us. Yeah, it's, it's for the best. Are you going to school today? The 
about 10 minutes. I saw it was late after I finished washing up. And you're supposed to wake me up. Don't I at least have time for a bowl of cereal? Well, okay. My brother makes as much money as a doctor or a lawyer hustling. I don't need to go to college. An A in math. Here is a C at the white suburban schools. Anybody seen Ray J lately? He hasn't been in math class in over a month. Yeah, I seen him. Hanging at the corner store near the park slinging drugs. I'll catch you later, man. I'm late for class. All right, what do you want me to say? You said you wasn't gonna be there. And I had to prove I was down. I mean, my boys have no problem with you. You'll be fine. So everything is cool. Man, not all of us is college material. You got a way out. But I ain't getting out of here alive. Man, why you coming down on me like that? I protected you. You ever thought what might have went down if I wasn't there? Dude, I wish it was as easy as you make it sound, but it's not. I know you've been trying to help. I just don't know what I can do. I don't think I can do this on my own. Can you, can you help me out? Rob, man, Rob is with the stones. Where you been? Why you think we got jumped? Not just cause I'm with the disciples. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry to you? Look, I'm a... I got class, man. Later. Great, Aaron. How are you this morning? Try and concentrate on the final. I know you can do well. Just have a seat, and I'll make an announcement to the class so I only have to say it once. When is this gonna end? Everyone, please take your seat. This is the last leg of a marathon, so you want to finish strong. 
A good score on the finals could mean the difference between graduating or not. You are all seniors, so you should know to do your best on the final. You can start now. All right, class. See you at graduation. Yo, dude, what you looking for? This Stones business up in here, who you with? You don't need to know then. Get you some beers. Dude, Rob, he on Stones business. Now get to stepping before you get your head peeled. It's just like that. Now step off, punk.
Looks like we're a little late. Let's get in. Someone just finished. Hey, look! There's Aunt Kayla and Gavin. The name of my poem is Man Child in the Promised Land. All my dreams have turned into nightmares. All my songs into funeral dirges. My hopefulness transformed into despair. All my blessings have become curses. If I seem incapable of greatness, a generation to be cast aside, I'm a product of this world's madness, fruit of the soil in which I reside. I'm a man-child in the promised land. I am a product of a dream deferred. I am a link in a chain unbroken, fashioned in the flames of a hellish forge. If the eyes let us see inside the mind, what do you see when you look into mine? And now, our final contestant, Aaron Davis. The light of a great man was extinguished. A prince among men, he was that distinguished. His spirit was willing even when cancer made his flesh weak. His lips dropped wisdom whenever he would speak. Oh, where you going? Where you coming from? Why you wearing those colors? What side do you belong to? Why you wearing your cap turned to the right instead of the left side? Uneducated boys write gangster on the wall spelled G-A-N-S-T-E-R and get lost trying to go downtown. My cousin Dion was shot the other day. The 57th shooting of the week. Cameras mounted on every corner. Send tickets to those who drive too fast. But my cousin's shooter goes on unapprehended. Maybe they'll catch him on his second pass. One gang pitted against each other in senseless war. Boys like sheep, following the blindest sheep. Until they all succumb to death's sweet sleep, will anyone then know what they were fighting for? Do you know how it feels to live under a curse? To be forced constantly to make the best of the worst? Do you know how it feels to live daily in fear? And to be denied access to all things men hold dear? Do you know what it feels like to be under a curse? If you don't, then just go back and reread this verse. All right, folks. It seems we have a tie. The winners of this year's Poetry Slam are Jaden Smith and Aaron Davis. You two will perform your poems at graduation. Thanks everyone for coming. Here comes Aaron with the teacher who organizes all the slams. Why don't you have Aaron introduce you, Gavin? That's a great idea, Taylor. Yeah, you Aaron. were great. You must be very proud of your nephew.
Congratulations again, nephew. Gavin and I are going to stay and find out a bit more about next year's slam. Bye-bye, Taylor. Bye-bye, Aaron. Tell Maya we said hello. I know she's going to be so proud of you. Bye, Aunt Kayla. Bye, Gavin. We're hoping my son Gavin can be involved in the middle school slam next year. We'd be pleased to have him. If you just leave your email address with us, Mrs. Davis, we'll send you the information. I'd like that. See? See? I told you you would win. I told you. I told you. You're not fooling me. You're just as excited as I am. Maybe a lot. I knew you could do it, big brother. I'm so proud of you. For what? You're no fun. Wait. Man, Rob, I can't believe you so weak-minded as to let them dudes send you and me. You don't know what you're talking about. Ain't nobody sent me. Then what is this about? How we boys you one think minute and enemies the next. Maybe we should go another way. If we was boys, you wouldn't call me weak-minded. We ain't never is been that? no friend. How you gonna say that, Rob? Those voices sound familiar, We've been friends since we were in preschool. Aaron? Yo, dude, bump that. You're a disciple and I'm a stone. Hey, those just words, Rob. Man, we bigger than that. See, that's the stuff I'm talking about. You think you're better than me. Look, I don't know what you've been smoking, but you... <laughs> yeah, that's right. You take orders from the stones. So what? Now, that's where you're wrong. I've been trying to figure this stuff out. And you helped me come to a decision. This ain't what's happening. What are you talking about, fool? No, you the fool for letting them mess you up like this. Man, can't you see how crazy it is for you and me to be at one another's throats? I ain't trying to hear that shit you talking. Well, I'm through talking to you. You can stand here and talk to yourself. You ain't going nowhere, punk. Dude, I know you ain't trying to fight me. And I don't want to fight you. Ah, uh, yeah. Justin the tough guy. So who's the tough guy now? Rob, is that what you think makes you tough? That's just the opposite of tough. You making a mistake, Rob. I'm your friend. Put the gun away. You do not tell me what to do. Man, you don't want to shoot me. Give me the gun. No, nah, I got the ups on you this time. Ain't gonna be second to you. Never again. Rob, I went down this same road. You trying to walk now. Stop before it's too late. You won't screw me over again. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Justin.
Aaron. Aaron, are you all right? When the police called, I was so scared. I'm glad you're safe. Son, we can't always know why things happen. Believe me, I was fresh out of understanding when your father died. I had lost the best friend I ever had in this world. I felt alone and scared. That's an easy question to answer. The two best reasons for me to be strong were staring me right in the face. I had to be strong for all three of us. Plus, at your daddy's funeral, I looked around and saw the faces of family and friends who had all lost loved ones. That's when I realized that it wasn't just me and us. Everybody suffers loss and disappointment. You see, life is going to test you, son. If you stay down, you lose. Keep getting up. I love you too, son. Now go get some sleep. I love you. Okay, big brother. What about you? For what? You do the same for me. You know, I'm really confused. Justin and Rob were friends, so... Why would Robert shoot Justin? Do you think he'll go to jail? Justin and Robert were your friends. I thought they were just like you. So why would they join gangs? Aren't you under the same pressure? Love you. Welcome all. We are here today to celebrate homegoing of many young brothers and sisters who were called home much too soon. Our youth have fallen victim to a game that many of them don't understand the rules to. It's a merciless game. And as far as I can tell, there are no winners. Every time one of our number becomes a victim to the violence of the game, we lose two lives. Because the one who pulls the trigger is just as much a victim as the one who was slain. When the perpetrator of murder is caught, tried, and sentenced,
he has to spend the next 20, 30, or more years. He is also a victim. A victim of the game. A game he doesn't fully understand. There are organizations who are doing great work in our community. Please look at the tables to find out more. These people are doing all they can to help, and you can help too. Please give your time and your compassion. If you can afford, then please donate to these worthy causes that can save lives and help our children have a happier and more peaceful future. Thank you everyone for your support. Man. I'm sorry, baby. Thanks for keeping me safe. My name is Patrick Sabatis. I'm the founder of the Reclaim Our Kids program. It's a mentor program that reaches out to at-risk youth to help them overcome peer violence, bullying, and gang recruitment. The unique thing about our group is the instructors that are involved in the program have overcome gangs or were part of gangs at some point and transformed their lives. So now we go back and reach back into the community throughout the greater Chicagoland region to mentor these kids, to help them reach their goals, job placement, get back in school, and help them dream again where their dreams have once been crushed. Too much loss has happened, so we need to make this an urgent mission to, to impact lives reclaimourkids.com.